And I see that you are chewing on my light, but it's okay. Be <gasps> well, hello everyone, Bird Lady here coming to you guys with a quick video. And in this video here, I want to talk about, you know, maybe understanding, um, abused or adopted or rehomed parents um sometimes they do get a very bad reputation and people actually prefer to buy parrots that haven't been tainted by other people but you will come to find out that if you have the patient patience the perseverance the the temperament for to just take time to understand these animals they will be it will be very rewarding for you so let's just jump right into this video much for stopping by my channel if this is not your first time welcome back if this is your first time welcome 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 i hope that you do decide to join the family and stay by hitting that like button that subscribe button and of course ringing that bell and hold on one second i got a cockatoo chewing on my sneakers now i always have to tell you guys this is a very diverse channel i talk about all types of things on this channel right now my channel is mainly centered around parrot care and my weight loss journey but i talk about all types of things with this journey i, I but i talk about all types of things on this channel i talk about true crime history gardening you name it i'll talk about it whatever's on my mind whatever i've been researching and i feel like talking about that day that's what i'm gonna talk about but if you are here for the parrot center videos make sure you do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss when i post a parrot center video now with that being said i do want to give a shout out from april from parrot Pet playhouse she has the most wonderful parrot toys i get all my parrot toys from her um what if you have not seen any of my videos where I reviewed her and her toys and recommended some toys, I will put those down in the description box below with a link to her channel. She also, if you see those um, Save a Parrot t-shirts that I wear in a lot of my parrot um, videos, those come from April from Parrot Playhouse. And I do recommend that you go and check out her channel. You go and check out her website because she has some amazing, 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 amazing things. And she's doing some amazing, amazing, amazing things. Last night I saw a post or early this morning I saw a post from April where, let me just put it here for you. So this is what April from Parrot Playhouse says. Thomas has food on his beak and VC, VC is Victoria Cockatoo, is sound asleep. I love these birds so much. People say they want to buy a baby bird so the bird will be tame and bun with them. Thomas and VC are both rescued parrots from terrible conditions. I can't imagine a closer bun. Get with the times, do your research on what it's like to live with a wild animal and adopt, don't shop. And that post inspired me to do this video because I just sat there thinking like, yeah, most people, the parrot, you guys, if you don't, okay, he's chewing on my, okay. If you guys don't know how I feel about buying parrots, I have one parrot that I bought. I have one parrot that I adopted. And the parrot that I bought, you really wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two unless I told you which one I bought and which one I actually adopted. Um, actually, the one that I adopted, you probably would automatically think that that was the one that I bought. But, um... Um, the, the parrot trade is so diabolical. I can't think, think of another word except for diabolical. It is very diabolical. It is so much cruelty that goes into the parrot trade to get these parrots to where you can see them in the, in the pet shops, you know, to where you can see them with the, the breeders. Not all, but most. Um, there are some replicas. I can never say the word reputable um, breeders out there. Um, so, but we're focusing on the majority. We're focusing on the bad ones here. And that's why I say don't, the more money we put into buying parrots, it continues to feed that parrot trade. More parrots are being surrendered because people don't know what they, they get to. A lot of times when you buy a baby parrot, you really don't, know what you're getting into until that parrot hits p 
puberty. When that parrot hits puberty, depending on what species it is, it could be three three years, it could be five. When, whenever that parrot species hits puberty, that's when you begin to see it start acting out. That's when you begin to see it start screaming for more. And a lot of people are not ready for that. They wonder what happened to their sweet angelic little angelic little baby that they had. Same thing with human children. Um, you you have this child that you raise, this child that you train, this child that you taught from right and wrong. Child hits puberty and bam, you're like, what is going on? Where is my baby? Same thing happens with parrots. But the only thing about children, the, the difference between children and parrots is a lot of people, once that parrot hits that puberty stage and they just can't handle it, they surrender that parrot. Human children, not so much. All right, sweetheart. Okay. Where you want to go? Where you want to go? Where you want to go? Because we got we to gotta get ready for work. Right. Now, when people hear rehome parrot, adopted parrot, um, second secondhand parrot, whatever you des you decide to call them or whatever they're calling in your area, um, they begin to think like, I'm going to get this parrot and this parrot is going to be just this destructive creature. This parrot is just going to be just going to act out. It's going to bite me. It's going to do this. It's going to do that could be possibly so usually the behaviors that a parrot has is a trained or learned behavior and what i want you to take away from this video is if it can be learned if it has been learned it can be unlearned so casper here believe it or not those of you who are new here is an adopted abused parrot yes he is and you see how calm how quiet how sweet he is He's not hormonal right now, of course, but um, we have our moments. But majority of the time, more than none, Casper is like this almost all the time. Doesn't make a lot of noise. Doesn't act that he's never bitten me out of aggression. He's bitten me. If he's bitten me before, he's bitten me because he was falling off my hand and I was on a live where I was cleaning out his cage and he was going for the the towel that i had and my hand was actually between his beak and the towel and i got caught in the crossfire so he's never bitten me from aggression main thing i want to talk about in this video is trust i want to talk about trust if you adopt if you feel like you want to adopt a parrot this parrot has behavior issues this parrot has come from an abused home if you can earn that parrot's trust you're in there I mean, you are in there. Um, and it's not, I'm not going to sit here and act like it's easy to gain a parent's trust. Because think about, I want to put myself in the situation just to bring it to, to, to try to get you to relate. To get someone to relate and put it on a human level and not an animal level. level. I myself am a survivor of domestic violence of from more than one relationship i myself and am a survivor of actual occult i can't say it because youtube would deem me but um not someone taking my innocence from me i'm a survivor of that if you ever been abused before i'm paying attention but i'm watching him as well if you've ever been abused before whether that be child abuse emotional abuse mental abuse no matter what kind of abuse it may be if you've ever been abused before you do tend to unless you've been delivered from that you do tend to carry that with you for the rest of your life you carry it in other relationships and sometimes even with domestic violence victims you sometimes begin to expect that in relationships especially if you've grown up seeing your parents abused and then you being abused yourself you do tend to sometimes expect it as being a part of the relationship i know it sounds crazy but that's all that you know until you are introduced to something different now i can move my monitor back until you are introduced and shown something different <laughs> Same, yes, sir. Same thing with, uh, he even agrees. Same thing with abused parents. They don't know you. All, all they know is the last person hurt them. So you have to gain their trust and show them like, hey, I'm not going to hurt you. And it may take longer for some than others because you do have some rescues that 
actually train those behaviors or work with those parents or help to build that that trust that's one of the good things for, about rescues is they are concerned about the family and they are also concerned about the parent so they do work with those abused parents to get them to where they need to be in order to be able to be accepted into another home i hope i'm saying this all correctly and so but even when they're in your home even when the rescue has worked with them and they're in your home they still don't know you so you have got to find a way to earn that parent's trust don't rush it don't rush it don't rush it don't rush it take it one second at a time Take it one second at a time. Go ahead and chew on my hair. I don't mind. Um, take it one second at a time. It may be, you know, a week for some, maybe a couple days, maybe a few months for others. You, you, we just, you never know. But don't give up. Once you gain trust, a lot of times we want to jump because people have seen. That's why I hate like parrot videos where parrots are doing all this crazy funny stuff um because a lot of times people are ready to jump into having that type of relationship with your parent you have to build that trust and that's not only with an abused parent but that's also with any kind of parent a new parent you have to build that trust the best way that i found to build trust with my parents has been food anyone even humans anyone can be bribed with food that is the best way that i found to gain trust with my parents is food so i wanted this to be a relatively short video i will go into more detail because i really think that i should make this a series i thank april so much for just opening up my mind to this idea and realizing how important it is to show that hey those horror stories that you hear it may ha happen it, it may actually happen but the thing is is we can train our our abused parents by showing them love i actually have a video saying how love healed my abused parent one thing about an abused parent or an adopted parent especially if they come from terrible situations once you show them something different they are so appreciative they are so because they 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 have something different they have like this person truly loves me i've never experienced this before and the affection that they show you anyways is already just melts in just melts your heart but when you've had an abused parent because my relationship with my abused parent is completely different from any other parents that i've bought i've had cat i've had um i bought parakeets I bought, this is my second son, Kanye, that I bought. The relation, and this is before I knew about the parrot trade. The relationship is completely different. The relationship is completely different between Casper and myself and the parrots that I bought from um, the pet stores. And I really think that that is because he's looking at me like, are you talking about me? Yes, baby, I'm talking about you. And I see that you are chewing on my light, but it's okay. Be <gasps> right when i got it out of my mouth did y'all see the light go off yeah of course you saw that so let's see here if we can adjust this video no 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 more lights no more lights it's fine it's fine everything's fine e everything's fine it's fine it's fine every everything's fine everything's fine okay so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, sorry about the lighting, but I do want to say make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because um, this is going to have to be a series. What I do want to do is I do want to interview parrot owners out there who have adopted, whether that parrot was abused, whether that parrot, whatever, to share, to come and share your story. So if that's you, please, 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 please comment down below. Or email me at birdladyspeaks at gmail.com so that I so that we can get together and we can show people that the the horror stories that they hear about adopted parrots. Yeah, you may get a parrot that has some behavior issues, but you can train it away once you gain that trust. That's the most important important part is gaining that trust. And then you'll be able to train those behaviors away. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I'm kind of rushing and I still need to um, 
get his food warmed up and cooked and everything and have to get ready for it but thank you so much guys for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you comment below if you are interested in this series please let me know i would definitely um do it and make sure you go and check out april from parrot um parrot playhouse get some toys for your parrot you will not be disappointed and get some parrot gear you will not be disappointed thank you so much guys and as usual to the loo bye bye